We spoke with Alex Jones when he was leaving court during the lunch break this afternoon, and he said that he's being misrepresented. Now, in the courtroom, one of the big points was whether or not he called some of the family's actors. Now, I asked Jones outside of court if, in fact, he did call them actors. He did not answer the question. However, he did change his tune a little bit regarding the judge. Take a listen. I can't perjure myself by lying and following her order. And she understands the pickle, she said, she put me in. So maybe she's not a big tyrant with a capital T. Maybe he's a little baby tyrant sometimes. There were many questions as to how his testimony would go. Outside of court this morning, he said he may have to plead the fifth because he doesn't believe he made money off his Sandy Hook lies. Now, the court has several rulings on what he can and can't say, that being one of them. The judge says it won't come up in court since he disagrees that he profited, but he could end up being held in contempt if he doesn't follow the rules. Jones is not allowed to present defenses arguing he's not liable because he was already found liable by the judge. Now, for the last two days outside of Waterbury Superior Court, Jones has bashed and questioned the legitimacy of his trial. He says he does believe the Sandy Hook shooting happened and he's sorry for what he said that hurt people's feelings. He also says that he's being used as a political hit job and says his trial is the murder of free speech and American justice. We'll continue to follow the very latest on this trial, both inside and outside of court as it continues to develop. Stick with Fox 61 News on air, online, and of course on Fox 61 Plus. In Waterbury, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.